Hi guys, and welcome back. In the previous video, we took a look at how to deploy a WordPress container using the pre-built WordPress image that's on the Docker Hub. Now we're going to slightly switch contexts and we're actually going to build a custom container image instead. So I have another example Docker Compose file here. It's in the same 03 directory here. And this one is going to have the version defined up top, which is 3.8. That's currently the latest version of Docker Compose that's available. And then down here, we have this services section. Uh, I have a service named Nginx. Of course, I could call this whatever I want to, like web. And then down here, we've got a build instruction instead of the image instruction. So in the last video, we had an image pointing to WordPress. And now we're actually going to build whatever is inside of the Nginx subdirectory in our project. So this 03 directory serves as basically our project root folder. And so inside of that, relative to this Docker Compose file, we have a child directory here that is a sibling of docker-compose.build.yaml called nginx. And inside of that nginx folder, we have a Docker file, which is your instruction file that allows you to build a custom container image. And inside of that Docker file, we are pointing to the nginx container that's available on the Docker Hub. So this is a publicly accessible image. And then what we're saying is we want to, any instructions that we run after line number one are actually going to build on top of the Nginx image and add some further customization. So you could do things like install software packages, you could copy configuration files in, or anything like that. Now what we have here is just a single instruction, which is a Docker add instruction, and it's going to look for index.html in the build context directory, which again is the Nginx directory. And it's going to take that index file, index.html file, and put it in the user share nginx slash html directory. Now, how do I know to put it there? Well, if you look at the documentation on the Docker Hub for the nginx container image, it actually tells you that this directory here is the directory that contains the root for the nginx web server. So if you would like to customize that, you certainly could copy in a custom nginx configuration file, or you could just copy your own custom HTML files into the default directory here. So that's what we're doing. Now, what does the contents of the index.html file look like? Well, it's really simple here. So I basically just created a new HTML file. I have a CBT Nuggets title on it and just a, a H1 header that says custom page. So nothing really special here. It's basically just a custom file for the sake of demonstration. So let's go ahead and deploy this docker-compose.build.yaml and see what's different. Now you also might notice that we have this error message here that's being reported by the linter. You can actually ignore that because even though we don't have an image property down here, we do have the build property. So let's switch over to our terminal here and I'm gonna run docker-compose-file and then I'm just going to tab through my file list here until I find docker-compose.build.yml. And then after that, we're going to run the up command followed by dash dash detach. Now, things are going to look very similar to the earlier command that we ran where we ran docker compose up on the WordPress stack because the only difference is that we deployed a pre-built image versus deploying a custom image. So what you'll see happen here is that we actually have the build process getting kicked off, very similar to what would happen if you just called docker build instead of docker compose. And once it builds that custom container image, it then deploys a new container from that custom image. So at this point, we can run the docker ps command to list out all of the containers that are running on our system. And sure enough, we do have this customized Nginx web server image that is running here. Now, what we haven't done with either the WordPress container in the previous video or the Nginx container in this video is exposed them. So even though they have a listener that's running inside of the containerized environment, we haven't either exposed that port or configured it to use host mode networking so that it can bind to the host's network adapter. So now we're going to take a look at how to expose ports from your Docker containers inside of Docker Compose. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.